Guys, B really destroyed me in the last episode because she literally took out half of my team, including my freaking Culver Squire. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, we are back again to begin another great episode of Pokemon Sword. So, in the recent episode, as you may recall, we went through a lot of stuff in that last episode and, of course, defeated, as you may have guessed by now, that, uh, you know, that girl. But other than that, we're back. So, as you can see here, we're going to be tackling our very first Gigantamax Pokemon of the day. And usually we don't encounter Gigantamax Pokemon that often, but that all changes today. And we're going to have, oh, I don't know, Dretna in the lead for this one. I don't know if I'm going to do seriously good, but it depends. Let's just hope I do good and catch this Gigantamax Pokemon, because it depends on how lucky I get. It depends. Yup! Gigantamax Colossal! Thankfully, water types are super effective against these rock fire type Pokemon. So, I don't know how much of a problem that I'm gonna get. Oh shoot, we got Magikarp. And Togepi? And oh, and Halucha as well. Alright. I'm gonna have to really be careful with this one. Let's go, Dreadnought. Dynamax and Tom. Look at them red eyes, low. Or orange, I guess. There we go. Whoa, that did some good damage, actually. Not gonna lie. All right, it started raining. I'll take that. Nice job, Magic Heart. Good job. Oh, that did very little damage. Ooh, that looked like it seriously hurt. Thankfully, thankfully Togemi did not faint from that. What the arm? Oh, shoot. Should have got the token kick. The token kick. The, the, the token tick, though. So. Alright, let's do another Max Geyser. Nice job, Magic Heart. Good job. Okay, it's creating a barrier. Five of them! Should be not much of a problem for Dread not here. Got two of them shields. Not too bad. Oh, you that's messed up. Oh my lord, bro. Oh, the storm's getting stronger. Wait, it moved twice? Oh shoot. Okay, Toga Kid, Toga, to, alright, Toga Kid's getting a second chance. Don't, don't worry, little guy, you're getting a second chance with that. Let's do this. There we go, another two barriers took it out. You guys take care of the rest of the work. There we go, we broke out the barrier. Defense, Arson Fell. Oh, and special defense too. Ooh. Oh, Alicia still survived that, huh? Oh, thank you! My lord speed. We're like. Okay, unfortunately, my dreadnought's gonna have to return back to normal, so. I'm actually shocked that Trent is not affected by the deal yet, so. Alright, right now, time to take care of the rest of the work. Come on, you know what to do. 
Oh, Magikarp's getting a second chance too? Alright. Let's keep going, guys. Oh yeah, this thing is going down. There is no doubt about it. Yep. That thing is so gone. Come on, guys. Man, we took that out with no problem. Alright, now I have to get lucky and try to catch it. Let's try a gray ball. Let's give this a shot. I got one shot at trying to catch this, so there's no turning back if I do end up catching it, or not catching it. No turning back after this. I can't count my chickens on this. Okay, that's one. That's two. Three. Oh, that was so close! Oh! Almost! Sadly, it faded away. Man, I'll meet you guys back. Hold on a minute. Okay, guys, I came back to try this again because the first attempt did not work as planned. So, let's try this again. Thankfully, I did save my game early in advance. So, yeah. Let's try this again. Maybe this time I'll get a bit lucky. Oh, definitely not. Well, oh, darn it! Second time did not work. What am I doing wrong? Alright, I'll be right back again, y'all. Alright, guys. I came back, so third time's the charm. Now, apparently the Great Balls did not work the first two times, so I think I have one other option here that I can choose. But this is going to be very, very risky. I'm going to see if a Dusk Ball can work on this thing. But... The chances of this catching it is kind of small, so I don't know if this is really going to catch this Gigantamax Colossal and make her a part of our team, but if it does, I'll really be proud of it. But let's give this a shot and see what happens, because the first two times it did not work. And yeah, that did not work. Of course! I guess using a Great Ball is my only option here, so I'll be right back again, guys. Well then, third time it didn't work. I'll paint you guys back. Okay, I came back again to try this again. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try to catch this Gigantamax Colossal. Because the first three attempts, including that risky method on the third attempt, did not work. So, let's try the Great Balls again for a third time. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch it this time. Because the first three attempts did not work at all, so hopefully this time I'll be able to catch it. I can't mess this up. I need to catch it. Come on. Okay, one. Two, three, I'll count on my chickens. There we go, now we caught it! I was actually expecting it to break out again and making me do it again, but okay, finally we caught it after the fourth attempt. Okay, that kind of took a while, but I was finally able to catch a Gigantamax Colossal. Okay, that only took four attempts, surprisingly enough. I was actually expecting it was going to take more than four attempts, actually. I was actually expecting it was going to take, like, five or seven attempts, but apparently that's not the case. All right, then. All right, so this is officially the first Gigantamax Pokemon I've ever caught. Though, I'm going to have to admit, catching that thing was not that easy. <laughs> but, um... Despite the fact that it wasn't simplistic to try to catch that thing, I was finally able to get it on my crew. So at least that's enough for me to say that I am proud of catching one on my crew. So, at least it's not all that bad. But it was certainly not easy trying to catch that thing simply because of, uh, yeah, the fact that that thing just instantly getting out of that Pokeball over and over and over again just made it very difficult for me to catch that thing. But I'm glad that I finally caught it. You know, Gigantic X Pokemon have a very low percentage of being caught, so it's not likely you'll be able to catch them on the first go, but even then, bro, it's ridiculous with the small amount of capture rates they have. If I run into another one somehow by accident, then I think I might have to do another one off screen. It just depends. I'm gonna go over here, get the waltz and the steel. You know, I just showed a green it. No. I think I should be good for now, because I have already gotten pretty much everything that I wanted to do. 
But since I'm not gonna make this a long episode, I'm probably going to make it a short one, simply because I don't want to really explore. Huh? Wait a minute. A red bomb bee? Ooh. This is a new one we've never encountered yet. I guess I might as well try and catch it, so. Uh, what would be a good ball for this Pokemon? I guess that ball will do. I mean, it is technically a bug, so I could have expected the less, I guess, but I don't think this is gonna catch it, but we'll see. Or never mind, I caught it anyway! I gotta stop counting my chickens when I know they're gonna be caught. I mean, sure, not all Pokemon are gonna be caught that easily, but still, bro, there's gonna be a good chance that they'll catch them anyway. You never know. Well, let me make it two Pokemon that I've caught already, including one Gigantamax Pokemon. Goodness, bro. I am so skipping that Pokemon, you've got me messed up. I'm not about to run into that stupid thing for nothing. I'm not planning on making this episode longer or anything because of the amount of consistency that happened with the last couple of episodes. So, the chances of me making this as a long episode is kind of slim. I don't necessarily think I'm going to make it long. Actually, I don't even plan on making this a long episode anyway because of the events that happened in the last episode. And that I could have ended it a while back, but instead I ended it on that kind of note. So, the chances of me trying to end it that way is kind of small. I'm gonna go here and gather the watts. Alright, we're good. Alright, so other than that, there's not much else that we can worry about. So I think we're pretty much good for now. Alright, skip all of this. That Chroma Squire just, like, flying over there in the distance. Alright. Overall, guys, I think I'm happy with the findings that I found. Overall, they're not the best ones I could find, because it took four catches for me to finally catch that Gigantamax Colossal. But other than that, I'm glad I was able to catch that thing, so at least I'm happy with that, okay? <laughs> At least you guys can't hate on that, okay? Most of the Pokemon can be very difficult to catch at times, specifically, specifically the Gigantamax ones. But if you do, if you are able to catch them on your crew, you'll be so lucky once you're able to, you know, catch them in general. They're just going to be very tough to catch simply because of the amount of, you know, time that it takes to finally catch one, so. I'll take seven of them. Thank you. Let's take a few die balls. Take a few of these. And then also take a few um, timer ball balls while we're at it. Thank you. I think I'm good for now. I think I'm going to make this a really short episode because the chances of me making this as a long episode is kind of small. Simply because of that Gigantamax Colossal deal that I ran into earlier. So, the chances of making me making this as a long episode is kind of small now. Normally it would be much bigger, but considering of the amount of time it takes to finally catch something that you really want on your crew, even more so if you're trying to catch it on your team, is kind of small. So. I don't think I'm even gonna bother with trying to catch anything for the rest of the episode. I don't think I'm going to, actually. Oh. Darn it, I was gonna dodge that thing, but both I end up running into it anyways. Just darn it, bro. I mean, that was a good attempt regardless, but come on, bro. I'm immediately running away from that thing. You got me messed up. Okay, there 
doesn't seem to be anything else. I do want to first go up here, because I do want to collect a new Pokemon that I collect from the last episode, so I might as well do it right now. Name's Kara Lise. I am researching fossils. Huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps with this mystery lies the key to understand these common little Pokemon, huh? Do I even have the fossils? Oh, I don't think I do. I may have, I might have to get them off screen, actually. So, sorry, I was gonna move away from that thing, but behold, that thing that that yam mascot way too close to me. I could not get away from it. Well, that sucked. Get you, your mask. I'll take that like play gladly. Thank you very much. Really? Really? You had to run into another one of them little guys? I mean, I guess I could take a hit, but seriously? That really was only comfortable having that as a tail. I mean, the whole thing's were like, really? Doesn't seem like there's anything interesting. God, I got nowhere close to that thing, because I was just going to go down just to see what was down there. Oh, rare candy. Nice to know. Of course, I ran into a young mask the next minute, but whatever. I'm immediately running, running, away, running away from you. There's no way I'm about to deal with you right this second. I don't care about no random encounters right now. Alright, get up. <laughs> Those miraculous back there got chill, bro. Seriously, now. I do want to head back in here, just in case there's anything new going about. Huh. I thought there was something new in here, but it turns out it was wrong. Huh. Well. Never mind then, I guess. Um, colossal in battle. So, you know what? Let me actually head back to my boxes. There he is. Check out his summary first. Oh, that's not even that powerful. <laughs> well, my boy got some moves, though. Alright, so, um... Oh, no, 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 this is a girl. So let's move her, let's replace Flapple. I'll get back to Flapple later, but for now, Colossal where it's at. Yep, here we go again. <laughs> destroy it, destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. <laughs> We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kabaraja? 
If you are truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Uh -huh. You have to no good, bro. Oh my, you again? So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Oh, really? Really? You don't think you'll have anyone standing in your way? Well, I already beat you last time, so I should be able to get you this time, too. Alright, we're sending out Dujin first. Come on, Rillaboom, let's go. I think I'm immediately kicking this off with drum beating, because you know drum beating that move. So go for it. Get it with that. Even being a normal attack, it still does damage. So you know what? I'm not even complaining whatsoever. Hm. I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Well, because I already took out your first Pokemon, so what do you expect from me? Alright, Hatcher is the next Pokemon. I think I want to send out Colossal for the last one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Hatrim's Anticipation. Um, okay. Let's try knockoff on this one. I know this is going to be super hyped on this one. <laughs> Just a little clap and that's it. Bam, took it out. How do you suck? Alright. So far, so good. Not too bad. Panchen grew up to level 36. Body slam? Ooh, that may be good at paralyzing things. Let's get rid of uh, Low Sweep, because I don't think this is going to be useful anymore. Even though I don't use Pancham most of the time, it's still. Alright, got Rita is his next Pokemon. This should be good. I gotta say, so far we're doing super good with this, bro. I just realized that we've been doing really good. He's only left with one last Pokemon, and that's his Ponyta. Alright, so let's switch over to Colossal now, because I actually do want to test out his moveset a bit. It seems that he may be able to take care of most of this by now. Go for it, Colossal! I have to win this for the Chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from everything I want? Oh, I bet I can. Alright, Ponyta's his last Pokemon. Okay, all of these are effective against it, so let's use Ancient Howl on this one. Alright, let's use Agility first. But too bad it's not going to be useful because I'm still a powerful Pokémon. Go for it, Colossal! Yeah, get some rocks to the face, that's what you get. Alright, let's do one last Ancient Howl to finish this off. Sometimes, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna play around all the time, okay? When I want to be good, I'll show it off. Cause I'm not good at everything, but yeah. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Well, too bad. Colossal said you don't need to have it. You made a colossal mistake. No pun intended. <laughs> uh. Why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the chosen one by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I wanted the elite. Someone who can shudder, sh shoulder the future of the Gather region. Challenger BD? Oh, here we go again. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historic site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon's simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young B. It pains me to say this, to have to say this, but I'm truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. 
I saw talent in you. You reminded me a bit, a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the moral art of Gallard's history? You show no love to work, Gallard. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. I still can't let go of the look on his face! That look is just the shock! You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me! There are a hundred different ways we could sort this, uh, sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Chandra Beatty, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I you kind of feel sorry for him, but at the same time, you kind of deserve that. You know, ah, Sonia and Victor, too. Terrible shame in all of this. An absolute disaster. I never wished to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of BD's matches, I heard the announcer say that BD has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took BD under his wing, and so BD was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the moral survived all of that. Oh no, here we go again. Yep, same exact thing happened again. Literally just smacked into pieces. Of course, she's remind me, reminding herself of all those moments that happened. Yup. <laughs> well then, not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light of it for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon? Right. More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people? Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the statue at that Bidu drop-in? More than any statue of a hero or old tribe tap trees, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means, the shield is a Pokemon. Yup, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history. Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when, these, when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balloonia next, right? Thank you, I'll take those revives gladly. I think after all that that I've experienced, even though this is a short episode, I'm wrapping it up right here, guys. I don't give a care anymore. I'm wrapping all of this up. I caught my first Tick Antimax Pokemon. I went through a lot of stuff in the episode. Caught another Pokemon along the way. Tested out Colossal for the first time, and did all that. So you know what? This is a good stop to wrap this episode. This is probably the shortest Pokemon Sword and Shield episode that I've ever created, but it's all worth the wait, okay? I'm probably gonna release a longer one next time, but that depends. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys next time when I come back for the next episode. So till next time, guys, I'll see you later. So till next time, bye.